Number 73, certain heavy industrial equipment uses alternating current power that has a peak voltage of 679 volts. Uh, what is the root mean square uh, voltage or RMS voltage? So you have to know a relationship between peak voltage and root mean square voltage. It is a very, very simple formula. Root mean square voltage is gonna be equal to the peak voltage, which they usually denote V sub O. You can denote it as V sub P for peak voltage, and you're gonna divide that by the square root of two. Complicated formula to, to kind of derive how that is true. It's because it's alternating current, so there's an oscillating wave and blah, 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 blah. But quite honestly, who cares, right? As long as we can get the answer. So the root mean square voltage here is simply going to be the peak voltage of 679, 679 divided then by the square root of 2. Plug it on into the calculator. 679 divided by square root 2. And I multiplied it, so 679 <laughs> divided by second square root of 2. And it's going to be 480. 480 uh, volts. Keep in mind that the root mean square current, in case you need it, is going to be the same exact relationship. Root mean square current is going to be equal to the peak current all over square root of 2. You're only going to be talking about these two formulas when you're dealing with alternating current. Keep that in mind. Thank you, guys. See you soon.